you find the prospect of painting roses really intimidating? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a really simple technique that's going to make this seem an awful lot easier coming up. Hi again there guys, I'm here from Paint and Pino giving you some top tips for all things art and design. And in today's video, we're gonna see how to produce a really effective rose, but using a more impressionist technique. There's loads of videos on YouTube showing you how to do the one stroke technique, which produces a really accurate version of a painting of a rose. They are stunning but it takes a long time to master. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how simple it is just with a couple of techniques to actually produce pretty effective roses, but very, very simply. Let's have a look. So we're just gonna to mix together white and red. Um, I'm just going here with the cool red to make a nice pink. So it's mainly white with just a touch of that red. And the basic mark making is simply just almost like a cloud shape. So I'm just going with a large brush. Now I'm gonna add the fine detail brush and really thick with your paint. That's the key here because we're going to make a nice squirrel in the middle. It's almost like ice cream and we're just going to work it out and quickly so you're still catching hints of those red and those white shades coming through. You can do this as many times as you want um, just to make sure that you get that lovely swirl effect and then all you need to do is just add some extra detail. So again you'll notice I've got red on one half of the brush and white on the other side too. And that's because we want to have a mixture of those two colours coming through. So it's a highlights and lowlights into your rose. So I'm just going to keep working into this, adding a little bit more detail. So I'm just exaggerating where those shaded areas are, but I want to keep that focal point of the swirl in the middle because that's what's going to make it really appear to look like a rose as opposed to an ordinary flower. You'll notice too as well, guys, that I've actually put it off centre so that the swirl is just up to the left. So it just gives it a bit more of a 3D element. Now with the background, it's really basic. I'm just going to show you an example of what I've done for the background. So it's just simply blending white in the top right corner. I've gone with the cool blue for the main sort of area in the middle. Um, and then I'm just going to go with a hint of black in the corner. And I'm literally just rushing these over with the brush because the whole point of this in a moment is that we're going to use a tissue to create that texture. So I'm just going to work this right into the corners. And then here's the tissue. So all you want to do is simply make like a flower, just twist it at the bottom. And then you can either dab with this, where you get like a sort of stipply effect. So you can blend, you can see how much paint I've got in the background, a lot of acrylic is there so that we can blend the two together. Or this is my preferred technique where you swirl the tissue around and it just gives a really lovely textural quality and a little bit more sort of interesting of more of an interesting focal point for your background. So you just work this all the way around on the canvas, working into the corners. All right, so you'll notice I've already started some of the techniques of the rose here. I'm just gonna show you what I've done. So you need that background to dry before you work this technique. So again, it's just that cloud effect. So just kind of getting the base color, I'm happy with that lighter pink. So I'm using the smaller brush just for the smaller rose areas. And then that technique is really important that you get lots and lots of paint. So the great thing with this technique is you can obviously sort your composition out beforehand. And uh, if you're a little bit nervous about the technique, then just, just get an idea of where you want your roses to go. You want a combination of sizes and also a combination of colors. So you're gonna have some darker roses and some lighter roses too. So here's that technique with the swirl. So again, you've got to go really thick with the acrylic and making sure that you've got a mixture of both the colors, the white and the red. I'm actually gonna make the rest of this video a time-lapse, guys. So you can really get an impression of, of how I've produced this whole painting.
So question of the day, how do you produce your roses? Do you have a special technique that you produce when it comes to painting flowers? I'd love to hear from you guys, so do leave a comment just below. If you have enjoyed today's video, then please do hit that like button as it really does help our channel. And if you'd like to see some more weekly top tips or techniques just like this one, do hit that subscription button and of course the notification bell because we produce weekly videos every Wednesday and Saturday so you know when we're coming back online. Alrighty guys, we'll see you next time. Happy painting.